My name is Kevin McKay. My company, Corver Repair Incorporated, has worked on some of the most desirable, rarest, most collectible cars on the planet. We worked on some very, very significant Corvettes, and we've been very fortunate and blessed to have the opportunity to do a 69 factory ZL1 Corvette. It's got the original body on it. It's got the original VIN tag. It's got the original trim tag. It's got the original chassis. Perfect frame, not a pit on that frame. The car only had 3,000 original miles on the car. Could not believe the condition of that car. It's just, it's amazing that the car was owned by the same owner for almost 40 years. My name's John Marr, and I was the proud owner of a 1969 ZL1 Corvette. When John wanted a lighter, faster car for drag racing, he had a personal connection with Don Yanko a Yanko Chevrolet. Yeah, I first met him in 1960 at a, at a race, and with him was Grady Davis. And between those two, we were able to pull the strings to get the first production ZL1 Corvette with an automatic transmission, which has never been done before. It became a reality. I originally ordered the car in the summer of 68, and they submitted the order, and Harold told me that uh, they had rejected the order. I said, well, what can I do? And he says, well, sometimes you have to know somebody. I called Mr. Davis and told him what I was after. And he called me a young man. He said, young man, I'll write a letter to uh, Chevrolet for you. And, and it was probably three or four weeks after that letter was sent that uh, Bremen had gotten word that the car was going to be made. There's no question that is a factory ZL1 Corvette. What I don't want to do is give you a story. I just want to give you the facts. And we're able to get a notarized statement from the original owner of the dealership. Going to the statement, the car came to his facility as a aluminum 427 ZL1 engine. We're talking about December of 68. So we have some of the engineering documents that prove that they did have a ZL1 available with an automatic back in the fall of 68. And Mr. Marr was very fortunate to have his connections with Mr. Yanko and Mr. Davis. But having that all together, complete Providence history and all the other documents that we have, I wish the cars that... It's one of the ultimate cars. It's one of the holy grails of collecting. I've always told people that have large collection of cars, it's not the quantity, it's the quality. Why would a collector want this car? The problem is with these type of cars, they never come up for sale. Most people have these cars, know what they have, they can't replace it. You can't say, well, buy the other one. Well, how can you buy the other one if it's the only automatic convertible in existence? It's one of one. You can't get much rarer than that.